And welcome to Lucy Vibes. Good to see you. Karibuni sana. It's another new day. Na watakia wiki jema kabisa. Yani wiki yenye baraka tele. Ata challenges ikikuja una overcome. Yani unazipita. Shua. Because God is on your side. We, we. What? So I came across a story. Yeah, a lady kwa Tuko. Tuko. Yeah, Tuko. Tuko. Of course the Tuko. Ile tunajua tu Tuko. Ya yeah, Kenya. The lady was working in Saudi amefanya kazi for i think it is more than eight, nine years eh? so that lady amewaka kazi amekuwa anatuma pesa kaacha watoto wake wawili only to come back alikuwa anatumia uh, sister yake pesa then later uh, msichana wake akakuwa amemaliza shule you can just go and watch that story there then after sasa hivyo after me ame kuwa sasa anatumia sister yake pesa msichana wake akakuwa amemaliza shule so i think the lady was like ah why can't i cooperate with my daughter my own daughter her own daughter so her own daughter akakuwa anamtumia pesa you know the mother alikuwa anamtumia pesa anamwambia hizi unaweka kwa bank na msichana daughter wake anamwambia yes mom money ndio hiyo nimeweka kwa account iko wapi kwa kwa of course fixed account aya Mama akamwambia ninarudi sasa na kuja mama akafika msichana ako pale mama akamwambia you know what sasa <laughs> ata nataka tu kuanza ka biashara ka serious so mama akaanza kwenda kwa ama shops huko tau na kiangalia the daughter is like yeah mommy we are fine pesa hiko pesa hiko 700,000 i don't know 200 it was too much so at the end of it alikuwa atoe 2 million sasa aya Christmas umesikia mama anatafuta nini tarehe 24 anapigiwa simu na True KTV I don't know if it is the director J sijui lakini sasa kwa hiyo story ya tuko so the lady akasema mama akasema so I got a call from True KTV akaniambia oh they've got my wako na my daughter na my daughter want to disclose something so and the lady was like mtoto wangu my daughter kwani yako na nini wakamwambia your daughter anataka kukuambia pesa hakuna Mama kauliza diraibwa ni kama sisiki vizuri my daughter my own daughter mnaniambia pesa tunafungua biashara nimekuwa naangalia maduka huku town za serious na tunakuja tunaongea na my daughter na hata nikikuwa kule Saudi nikifanya kazi tulikuwa tunaongea na my daughter kwa 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 you know, kwa video video calls na mama msichana wake daughter wake anaona what the mother is doing so they were in a good good relationship yani daughter mama I, ah so So wakamwambia akawa so daughter akakuja wakamwambia ya mama pesa ile ilikuwa hakuna pesa nilinunua gari hiyo ingine kununua gari 500,000 nikabuata si 500,000 tukaenda tukachukua gari Mombasa nikarudi nikaambuata iwezeki iwezekani ni ex boyfriend sasa ndiye ako na hiyo hiyo gari sababu nilishindwa kulipa I was to be paying I don't know how much man money in a month my god I felt like ni muiko ama ni ni toa toa to. but this is your this is your own data yani huyo mama Mama anasema siwezi samehea huyu mtoto wangu. Anaulizwa pesa ulipeleka wapi? Pesa ilienda kwa Bitcoin. Hizi mnaita Bitcoin ni pesa ya haraka. So msichana was like alikuwa na bet akaabua 200 imeenda na maji. Si mnasemanga ime Apesa ikaenda na maji. Isi hata studio ya kucheka. I don't know who is making me. Msijaribu tucheke hapo sababu isi studio ya kucheka. So daughter akamwambia Bitcoin pesa ibu. ikaenda Dota alikuwa na marafiki. Sai ana rafiki hata mmoja. Sababu ali, na ex boyfriend, ex sasa ini ex boyfriend na ndiye yako na gari. So gari at, mama anasema I cannot forgive my daughter. How do I forgive my daughter? Dota mwenye tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye. Dota mwenye tuli Sasa watu wakasema pana mama wachana huyu dota aende hiyo Saudi akafanye kazi huko akulipe hii miaka yote alipia huyu mtu so mama anasema it, it is hard how do i forgive my daughter how do i forgive muana uliza how will she forgive her daughter na walikuwa pamoja na mpaka the last minute akuwa namwambia pesa haiko so the mother was okay alikuwa anajua pesa yake iko safe vile na wapi hapa watu wakijituma mnaambiwa watu wanawapigia picha so picha is not enough uliza kwa wacha ikue in ni sasa sijui uliza kwa kwa, kwa kwa bank mtu wa kuwekea signature at least inawekwa na data inawekwa na stamp unasema ni vile niko Saudi and I want to be sure my money is safe because me I've been telling people ya yeah, kuwa na mtu pigiwa sasa kumbe it is not enough so unasikia so the mother is like no I cannot forgive my daughter nyumba hatujalipa mtoto ndio huyu mwingine anaenda shule See, I am just there her mother of course wako karibu na Nairobi where they live in the lives in 
in, in Nairobi lakini sasa pale Gishage ndiye anaenda anachukua mandizi anachukua chakula but anasema of course the parents of course the father passed on lose another two sisters and all. you know anasema wako na shida and i was like shida imeletwa na daughter money was there so daughter alishikana na wale watu babaya na ndio naambianga wale watoto nyinyi mkitumua pesa tafadhali and i was like oi kumbe pesa ingetumiwa sister ya sister anasema it was okay only ya daughter daughter sahi anasema oh it is my company oh i'm asking for forgiveness so you are asking for forgiveness and yes we understand ukiwa mdogo lakini pesa ya mama iko na uchungu jameni or else maybe the daughter was like yeah pesa ya haraka haraka nitapata kwa nini pesa ilala kule maybe akapata company mbaya kamwambia pesa kwa nini inalala pesa isi lale your mother ako abroad which abroad abroad ni saudi ni kufanya kazi watu wanafanyanga kazi huko ni kufanya kwanza saa ukiangalia nje vile kuku na kuko na snow and people are still going to work do watumi pesa it is a sad story you can go to tuko and watch it but in a situation like this it is very hard and i was like mom nobody should even tell you to forgive or not to forgive you are in pain right now you don't even know whether it is forgiving or not forgiving so mommy just chill there i, I believe milango itafunguka i saw people of course saying what i'm saying and for a cause like this one for a person like this one mimi nasebanga ya watu waungane watu wasaidie a lady like this one but now the daughter the daughter at, sasa anasema daughter atoke kwa hiyo nyumba aende kwa auntie sijui ni kwa auntie sijui ni kwa rafiki and even me i would have done the same it is quite pain yani ni uchungu ni uchungu na ni daughter wako hukuna mahali utampeleka piti kwa hiyo ndio hiyo gari ndio hiyo hakuna just yani vitu zikaenda like that so watu wa saudi wale watu wanafanya kazi jameni and i don't know what to do and that's why i always say nyenye mnatumiwa pesa mtu akisema nataka signature ya mtu mwingine na mwingine kuhakikisha pesa yangu iko huko please but i believe we still have good people we have good people we have good people i can testify of that i can testify we have still good people but sasa huyu ni daughter na mama mami we just wish you the best daughter ukienda hiyo golf niliona watu wakisema enda katala enda sijui wapi enda ufanye kazi enda ufanye kazi i'm sure you've learned your lesson and since you have learned your lesson you're gonna be fine of course we are not going to condemn you but we are like you see now marafiki wamekuacha just like that wewe sasa hii hauna ka kitu unjuu unaelekea wapi the mother is like no the daughter has to go even me i was like wacha atoke kwanza ajue life uko nje and it is hard and it is hard but they gonna be fine at the end of the day so nyinyi mnatumiwa pesa jameni 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 tutarudia mara ngapi pesa muweke vizuri ya watu wa diaspora tutasema mara ngapi and we have been repeating this thing so i don't know what what is supposed to be Oh god have mercy on us. Mommy you gonna be fine. Uta get through it all because bado yule Mungu alikushikilia. Maybe that 2 million you are crying for now right now. A time will come that that 2 million will just be nothing in your life. I have seen God doing wonders. He's a God of miracle and he's going to visit you in the right time. See you on my next one and I love you so much and you know what? You need just to subscribe to this good vibes here. I love you so much.